Hi there and welcome back. In this edition of the LGCT analysis, we'll unlock the secrets of Saint-Tropez and the course of Grégory Baudot that in the end led 12 through to the jump off. A few too many, some would even say. But Baudot was smart. He tried to play with the natural slope of the arena. So before we have a look at the jump off, let's have a look at the line that produced the most faults and find out why in this edition of the LGCT Grand Prix analysis. The Longines Athena Onassis horse show is laid on top of the slight slope, the slight hill that you'll notice all around Saint-Tropez and all around the Mediterranean. With that slope, with that slight hill, Grégory Baudot has got an extra asset, an extra part, an extra color that he can draw into his course design. And he has done that very early already in his course of uh, the Grand Prix, the fifth Grand Prix of the season. Let's have a look. He starts, for example, with the line from two to three and to four goes down the hill. It starts with a tight turn from two to three, and then it gets interesting. He measures 26.6 meters through the heart of the line. Now, 26.6 is actually not enough. It's not enough for the normal um, six strides. So you need to find a little bit more width on the outside bend. What makes it extra difficult is that the next line from three to four is actually on a holding three strides with a de very delicate vertical and the LED screen in the background that could distract the horses. So if you're on the inside line, this one, you'll actually get too tight to the orange oxer. If you're on the center line, you're quite well, but we know that riders and horses have to drift to the outside as the inside is too tight. So there's a potential that you'll go too wide on this line and with a too wide approach that you'll fly over the orange oxer and then land too deep into this line and get too deep to the plank, to the vertical as well. That is the potential that Gregory Baudot has created in this line from two to three and then down to four. So a good entry into the line is crucial and then a good planning through the center with not too much pace. Of course, as we'll analyze this line, it was not always the case. So let's have a look at a few different examples. For example, let's have a look at Fernando Martinez Sommer. The Mexican tried to get a good swing over the Oxo and land on the, the outside line, but he got faulted already at the second fence. And ironically, he jumped fence three and fence four clean and clear. So Sommer was faulted already ahead of the line. Another exciting new face in the Grand Prix was actually the debut of Sara Vingrankova from the Czech Republic. She, in her very first LGCT show, and straight away qualified for the Grand Prix. Now, Vingrankova finds her very much to the left of the Longines Athena Onassis horse show oxer, and because of that, even though she manages to drift to the outside of the line in her first three strides, she finds herself much too deep, much too much on the inside of the line, and because of that, the front trail went at fence three, that pink oxer. And a pink oxer is a fence that you need to keep an eye on, because it's a great camera angle that shows you how wide the horses and riders actually drift in that line. If you look at the left for us on your screen, the left wing of that oxer, you'll see where the riders sit. Do they sit at the wing, at the outside of the wing, or at the inside of the wing? Now, Vingralkova sat very much at the inside of the wing. Now let's have a look, for example, at uh, Laura Kraut. She went dead straight through the middle with Kung Fu. And also look at the pace. She's got the perfect rhythm. She's not too fast through the middle. And it's a light, light rub from Kung Fu on that uh, Cavalleria Toscana upright. Very light brush and it fell down. So that's not the best example, but it was a good example of perfect position and perfect pace. The perfect line from two to three and the right pace into that line. Unfortunately, luck was not on the side of uh, Laura Kraut. There's another interesting detail in the next man, in the right of the next man, that is Ben Meer. Ben Meer on Faltic HB. He also gets the good line, comes over Longina Athena on his horse show, and look what happens in the second stride in here. Faltic actually changes the lead, and it looks as if Faltic, with that lead change, shifts a little bit forward and has that Cavalleria Toscana vertical down. Here's another look lands in the right lead, changes to the left lead, and it's 
Of course, on those three strides, on those, what is it, on those 15 meters, it's only a few tens of centimeters, but it looks that Faltic shoots forward with that lead change and that Ben Meer has the upright down. That's Ben Meer with Faltic. There's a French combination who actually wrote a very good center line from heart to heart. It's Julien Anquetin. Julien Anquetin, as many French qualified for the Grand Prix, finds himself in a good takeoff spot and then really tries to help here for that delicate upright. And with the help, with the lift of Anquetin, it looks as if the shoulder stays low as Anquetin tries to help him a lot to jump that uh, vertical and kind of lifts the push out of the jump of uh, his horse with Anquetin having that vertical down. Another one who really went through the center line and rode the right line through that combination but still had it down was Sami Eldaham on a 10-year-old, on a young horse, a horse that hasn't jumped that many LGCT Grand Prix, Wicked Enigma. Here just stays over the pink oxer, but Wicked Enigma on the downhill slope in those three strides or she is distracted by uh, the big LED screen just behind it or she wasn't paying attention to those rails but she stayed quite low over that uh, vertical advance three or advance four of Cavalleria Toscana. So we've had the inside lines with Sommer and with Winkralkova. We've had the center lines with Bear and Kraut, for example, and Samuel de Haan, as we just saw. There's also a few that overshot the line. And by overshooting the line, they go wide from two to three. By going wide, they also get a fraction long, two, three, land deep, into the line and then make it to the next fence, maybe too deep to the upright. For example, Simon de Lestre, the Frenchman who was third in the 2021.